attributive, and predicative adjectives. Attributive adjectives. An attributive adjective modifies a noun and comes before that noun in the first position. For example, he was carrying two big cardboard boxes. They are called attributive because they tell the qualities or attributes of nouns. For example, sweet, ripe, red strawberries are my favorite. If you can, though, it's a really good idea to use attributive adjectives because they give your audience more information about the nouns so that they can picture what you're talking about. For example, the beautiful new beach house is on an island. Together with their nouns, they form a noun clause that can be either the subject or the object of the sentence. For example, we have to read seven long, difficult books by next Tuesday. Predicative adjectives. Predicative adjectives go after the verb in the second position. For example, this milk smells rotten. They often function as the object of the verb. Since the verb and the object are the predicate of the sentence, we use the term predicative. For example, the store is too far to go on foot. They describe the subject of the sentence. For example, I hate it when our school books are so boring. These adjectives are not optional. They play the role of predicate, so they cannot be left out. For example, Our teachers seem tired on Mondays. These adjectives are essential information in the sentence. In fact, the goal of sentences is usually to share this information. Let's review the lesson.